Welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott and today we're going to talk about the ketogenic diet challenge I went through for mental health reasons. That's what those 30 days of logs were all about. What I was trying to do is experiment and see does food have an impact on my mood? Now the answer is obviously it does. Obviously it does. But I was looking for um, ways that the ketogenic diet would increase my energy, overall mood, how I felt in the mornings, and what it did was actually something that I didn't expect. Um, I'm going to talk about three things that the ketogenic diet basically cured in 30 days. It's pretty remarkable. Um, and then I'm going to talk about what foods I'm introducing now that I've already introduced and what the effect has been so far. Because if you follow me on Twitter and, uh, and Instagram and stuff, you know I've been talking about, man, I just want that coffee. I just want a nice old fashioned plain donut. How about a maple dip? How about a vanilla dip? How about an apple fritter? I was craving some of that stuff. And um, well, I'm going to tell you what I've introduced and what the effect is. But first, the three things. Oh, and also um, blood test results too. You can check this video out. I was in the hospital because I fell off my bike. And what they do is they take your blood uh, when you're in the hospital, see if everything's a okay. And it just so happens I wanted to do that anyways for the ketogenic diet. So I'm like, Hey, uh, nurse may I please have those test results. Can I have a copy of that? Now this doesn't include like B vitamins and things like that. You need separate tests like for an actual physical to get those, but there's pretty cool things in this blood test, um, that I think you'll find very interesting because the ketogenic diet, man, that's a way different way to eat than I was used to. Like I was pretty high carb and when you're doing 70% fat, 20% protein, 10% carb, I was barely doing 10% carb there. It was very, very different and uh, the blood test actually surprised me. So you ready? Sit back, relax, take your pants off. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is a mental health channel, depression to expression, where we express ourselves fully, freely with confidence. All right, let's do this. The first thing, the ketogenic diet cured at around day, I think it was around day 15 after the keto flu, after um, I felt terrible, um, the big cure was my allergies, seasonal allergies. Now, um, I, ca I can't remember a time where I didn't have seasonal allergies, where my eyes weren't itchy, where my nose wasn't running or plugged, where my ears and, and the roof of my mouth weren't itchy. It, it hasn't happened. And that's a result that I didn't know, I, I didn't expect that to happen. And let me tell you, going through a summer and not having to sneeze, not having to take allergy medication was awesome. Like I go to bed and I can actually breathe through my nose. For all of you who suffer from seasonal allergies, it's like going to bed and you have to breathe through your mouth and you wake up with the dry mouth and the pasties. This was a treat. This was a real treat. And again, from an early, early age, I've been taking Arius. Uh, Claritin doesn't work for me. Arius is the one allergy medication that I take that just does wonders. I'm spitting everywhere. Um, and I was just so surprised by that result. So surprised and so happy. Um, so that's number one. Seasonal allergies, gone with the ketogenic diet. Gone. Number two, this isn't really a cure. And this was pretty much an obvious thing. Um, because my, my calorie intake, I don't think was as high when I, when you go off carbs, um, as you can see by the vlogs, if you, I'm going to, you know, put a link up here where you can see every single vlog I did for the 30 days. And you can see how I'm pissed off at the beginning going through keto flu. There's times of depression, times of more anxiety, times where I'm just like this diet's stupid. And then other times where after the keto flu, I get used to things, get used to the have it, um, you know, eating differently, getting used to cooking differently, buying the right vegetables, buying meats, finding them on sale. You get used to the whole thing after just a few weeks. But um, the one thing was my calories were definitely lower at the beginning. I had to eat nonstop. I, and, and I was telling Michaela, who introduced me to this diet and told me to try it. Um, she was like, yeah, you're going to like be hungry a lot of the time at the beginning. Your body's just not used to it. My body was craving carbs and I'm just like, use the fat for energy, you idiot. My body wasn't listening for a while. So what it did is uh, for all you ladies <laughs> or gay men, um, I'm going to show you my stomach. 
Now, it's nothing serious, okay, but I had a beer belly before the ketogenic diet. Not a beer belly, but I had a kangaroo pouch. I was growing a joey in there. And from the reduced calories, but also, you talk to anyone, you reduce carbs, your stomach gets flat, man. It gets flat. So that was what I saw even around week one. Um, flatter stomach and no bloating after eating. Huge improvement. Huge improvement. So I just want to show you. Like, that's pretty cool, right? And I'll do a little flex. Like, guys, I haven't done a sit-up in a month. A, because that accident uh, bruised my ribs, right? I don't know if you can see that. That's my hip. But that was all bruised. Um, uh, my ribs are still bruised here. So I haven't been able to work out. But look at that, man. That's crazy. Now, if I push out, that's the push out. That's the push out. But you're never actually going, Whoa, like when you're walking around, right? So that's pretty cool. What do you think? If I do a little twist... You know, it's all lighting at the end of the day. And I'll have to make this a thumbnail so I get a click or two. But um, guys, like in all seriousness, not to flaunt or be, be cocky about how my body looks. You know, I don't do that type of thing. But I wanted to show you and you asked for it. Um, again, I should have done a before. Um, thinking if I have any pictures of a before, I probably do. But I did lose 10 pounds um, on the keto diet. And the, the 10 pounds were on, was honestly uh, in that stomach area. That's where... You know, women get it in the hips and uh, men get it right in the bellies, right in the lower abdomen. So that was pretty cool. What do you think? That's pretty cool. So we're at no allergies. That's number one. Awesome. Number two, belly fat, gonzo. Number three, headaches. Headaches. Now here's the tough thing. Here's the tough thing. I got a pillow about a week and a half into the ketogenic diet, a new pillow, a Casper pillow, but... I was sleeping at my parents' place. I was sleeping at friends' places. So I had different pillows throughout the month. And I was still getting no headaches in the morning, in the afternoon, night. Never. Never. And let me tell you, I would get headaches often in the morning. Ketogenic diet, no headaches. No headaches. Can you believe that? Now, I want with these three, three cures... I'm not, I'm not advertising any diet. Um, like I'm never one to be like carbs are bad, like to eliminate this or go vegan or go carnivore or do this and that. I'm just sharing my own experiences here. And with these three improvements, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. Just after 30 days of eating differently. I don't know what the long-term effects of keto are. Um, well, I'll talk to, uh, I'll talk to you about the foods I'm reintroducing, but that's so cool. That is so cool because usually I'll, I'll have a headache in the morning. Just it feels like inflammation. That's what it feels like. And with the weather too, certain, certain weather, uh, cloudy weather, I don't know, um, different pressures in the air, I'd get headaches. For 30 days, not a headache. Even during the keto flu, not a headache. So that's cool. Those are the three things. So we have allergies, no bloating, and a flatter stomach, and um, no headaches. That's really cool. So next, I'm going to go through introducing my foods, and last, I'll show you my blood results. So again, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, all the links are below, all the great links to all these cool playlists and what we do here on Depression to Expression. It's all available in the description. But um, I was craving donuts. Carb withdrawal is a real thing. And, you know, people get hangry and maybe people before their morning coffee, they're less, they're, they're impatient and they're not fun to be around. That's carb withdrawal, man. Like I, I was fiending for a little bit. I, I was pissed off. I was really mad about having to eat so much at the beginning. But let me tell you, the one thing I wanted more than anything was a donut. I wanted a donut and I haven't had one yet. But what I have introduced slowly but surely is my, ketogen bleh, bleh, bleh. my ketogenic diet was different than most because most people stick on the dairy because dairy's great for fat. Bunch of cheaters. But I didn't do dairy. I didn't. I had no fruit. Not a single fruit. This was meat and veggies. That's it. That's it. Oils, of course. Oils were used. And water. No coffee either. No bullet coffees. No butter in my... Co uh, 
my uh, coffee, none of that. Because that's a big thing with keto as well, doing the bullet coffees. Nothing. So what I wanted to introduce first was fruit. I first had a plum, waited a day. Had a banana and a peach, waited two more days. No reaction. So, good news. Those three fruits, like I miss bananas. I, I would have a banana every single day, at least two bananas. And uh, no reaction whatsoever. Fruit, A-OK. -okay. Second, beer. I had a beer and no reaction whatsoever. I waited a few days, right? Um, the taste was delicious. I'm trying to think of what beer I actually had. Oh, geez. It was at the wedding. It was a Sleeman. It was a Sleeman. Yes, I could have chosen a cool Ontario craft brew or something from Toronto. Uh, it was a Sleeman. But it was delicious. It was delicious. And it was at a wedding, so maybe I, I sweat. I danced. I had lots of food. Um, I didn't eat carbs there during the meal. But the beer... Success. So we're at fruit, beer, A-OK. -okay. Haven't had a bagel or any bread or anything whatsoever. But the other thing I did have um, was, oh wait, let me just think. Oh, right. Sorry. The bread, that was just a lie. I had a burger um, with the bun. Burger with the bun. And phone, please. And no reactions whatsoever. Um, didn't feel groggy, didn't feel any adverse effects. Um, I know what you're thinking, like, yeah, maybe I would have if I did this maybe for a two-month period or three months, like do 90 days and then go back to the original diet. Um, but I was definitely in ketosis, man. Like, oh, it was the best feeling when I woke up one morning and wasn't starving. That happened at around day 26, 27. I woke up and I wasn't starving. Like, I would get up in the morning and I'd be in pain because I'd be so hungry. And after like, you know, three weeks, I, I wasn't starving. That was a great feeling. But so I was definitely in ketosis, but the bread didn't do anything. And the last thing that I reintroduced was sauces. So I, I did ketchup and this barbecue sauce that was fairly low sugar, but I, I dipped chicken and uh, a burger in there. And that was it. Now, I, the way I did the burger was no sauce on the burger so I could see how the bun is just alone and then reintroduce sauces on their own. I was very careful about this. Um, no reactions whatsoever, but remember, this is mental health. I did the ketogenic diet for mental health reasons, not to, not to lose weight, not to see what my workouts would be like and energy levels that way pump and iron, although I, my energy wasn't great the whole time. Um, but this was for mental health, and as far as anxiety or anything like that, or depression, um, no real benefit with the ketogenic diet no big benefit um because i was feeling good from the beginning now as i told you all before the real test would be going off antidepressants and maintaining the ketogenic diet and that's something i'm still debating and i'd appreciate your balanced opinion there and don't go after me about that, but it's a big decision because I've gone off antidepressants before and I've almost died, and I know the withdrawal effects. It's like, well, if you've gone through that, yeah, I don't need to describe it. So last but not least, this is very uncut. Let's go through the blood results. Now, as I said before, the nurse was nice enough to give me a copy. I'm trying to figure out how to best share this with you guys. They measured sodium, potassium, chloride, total CO2, uh, glucose levels and creatinine. I believe that's how you say it. Creatine, uh, creatinine. So sodium, perfect. And my meals, I added salt on everything. Since with carbs and breads, you're getting a lot of salt that way. You do need to salt your food with the keto. That's one thing I learned. Potassium, on the high end, but right on. Uh, chloride, perfect. Glucose was on the low end. So they give you a range of four moles per liter to 7.8 and I was at 4.6 so the nurse did say that was on the lower end glucose and uh, well obviously I'm not getting the carbs so uh, that I think that makes sense or maybe I wasn't full keto I don't know those experienced or maybe a doctor's watching please let me know creatinine which is uh, creatine you get all that from meat right that was at 84 um, out of 112 so that's a perfect range I just want to talk about the things that were high for me with this blood test. So 
red blood cell count was on the high, like it was too high. So they give you a range of 4.3 to 5.6 E12 per liter. Don't know what that means. Anyways, it was 5.64. Red blood cell count was high as well as, which is cool, um, MPV. MPV stands for the platelet volume, the your blood platelets and how large they are. And I was, these were fairly big. And if, if something is, um, again, I was talking to the nurse, MPV, I can tell you exactly what that means. Mean platelet volume, average platelet volume. Uh, calculated measurement of the average size of platelets found in the blood and is typically included in the tests as part of the CBC. So what this means, if it's high, it says normally um, occurs when your body constantly creates new platelets because of a continual loss of existing platelets. This can be caused by things like recent surgery, infection, inflammation, or from heavy blood loss. So I didn't lose any blood, but I'm thinking maybe inflammation could have had something to do with this. Um, although with the lack of seasonal allergies, uh, I, like allergies, it's, a, it's an immune response, right? So I'm thinking the inflammation in my immune system went down, but who knows? Um, I know I'm kind of talking out of my ass here because I'm not a doctor and I have absolutely no medical training when it comes to, comes to uh, blood tests, but... <laughs> If you know more about this stuff, please comment below. This is a this is a dialogue, so please help me out a little bit if you find this interesting. And the other thing that was high was uh, monocytes, ABS monocytes. Uh, when they're high, a heightened percentage in your blood can be caused by chronic inflammatory disease, such as inflammatory bowel disease. So, another thing with inflammation, isn't that interesting? Two of the things in my blood that could be caused, that are high, that could be caused by inflammation. That is very interesting, isn't it? So those are the blood uh, results, blood tests. White blood cell count was perfect. Um, again, I talked about the glucose being perfect. I said red blood cell count was perfect. Um, and that's about it. So that was the ketogenic diet. There's the three cures. That's the reintroduction of food. So far, so good. Um, again, I'm not going back to heavy carb anymore. I told you I'd update you on that. I'm not. It doesn't make sense. And I'm definitely not eating dairy again. I don't miss it. I do not miss dairy. I don't miss cheese. I don't miss milk. I don't miss yogurt. Don't miss butter. None of that. So, excuse me, dairy is something that I'm fine with missing out on. That's a big inflammatory thing. I guarantee if I reintroduce dairy, allergies would come back. I could probably experiment with that for sure. Um, but I just have to go buy dairy. I don't really want to buy stuff. Um, and then the blood cell, or sorry, the blood test all seems good, right? Except for the, 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 high, the high parts, but the nurse said that's like honestly nothing to worry about. Um, we'll see if I'm dead within a week. Uh, please call for help. Now, <laughs> that's, so that's the 30-day challenge, everyone. Keto. I'd highly recommend it if you suffer from seasonal allergies, if, if you want to try something different for anxiety, for depression, right? For, for any kind of physical illness that you have. Um, I'm all about just trying everything, attacking something that you suffer with from every different possible angle and see what works. And diet for the most part is something that people don't really think about and that we don't experiment with, which is actually pretty nuts. Um, let me tell you, it wasn't fun for the first two weeks, um, but it's two weeks out of your life, man. Uh, it was definitely worth it as an experiment, and I'm, I'm going to change the way I eat for the rest of my life. Um, a burger here and there is great, but as far as heavy pastas and dairy sauces and cheeses and candy, uh, it's just not worth it anymore. It doesn't do anything for me. So, like, I would keep this diet uh, uh, altered version where, you know, I can have, I can still have fruit, which is fantastic, but I do it just from the seasonal allergies point of view and the headaches. Pretty awesome. And I'm pretty excited. So I hope this gave you some motivation too, to try this yourself. I know a lot of people who are following the vlogs every day, were doing their own challenges. Please comment. Let me know how your 30 day challenge went. I know a lot of you were getting rid of refined sugar. Some of you stopped drinking coffee. Other people were doing meditation for a month every day. 
Um, let me know how that went. And I hope you enjoy the new backdrop for all the videos. I love reading. Music's a form of expression and I love nature. This is like my mental health toolbox right here. So I hope you like the brighter background because uh, brighter days are ahead for all of us. Stay strong, keep being you, and don't forget to express yourself.